Do you think a lot of women stand on their standards when it comes to a man they actually no. like? I would say hell no. I think that most women got two sets of rules. They got a set of rules for the guy that they really like, and they got a set of rules for everybody else. And that right there is the issue, right? When you reach your peak level of maturity, then those rules become the same. Nobody is exempt. And I think because most women don't stand on their square, that allows men to just feel like we can do what we want. Like, y'all got to understand how men think. Like, men only respect consequences. That's it. That's all. And fact is, most women don't administer them, right? So if I'm dealing with you and I'm violating and I'm this and I'm that, and you may get mad for two, three days or a week or whatever, you might go stay with your home girl or whatever the case may be, but we know you coming back. Not only you coming back, but the five women we dated before you coming uh -huh. back. So when we get to the eighth woman, what you think our expectation is going to be? So I think if women want to see change in men, y'all got to start standing on y'all standard. Uh -huh. But if y'all don't and continue to have those two sets of rules, good luck. You know what's, you know why I feel like that that's true? Because be shocked is when you leave them, don't they? Yep. What the f I just cheated twice that's times only, six. Three that's days the ago. That's the only time they be okay that with going to see the lady and shit. Oh, right. As soon as you leave, that's when they want to go see the lady and fix every thing about them. No, it's too late. I no longer can. Hey, you know what's funny to me, man? We all know a guy who literally gets away with murder when it comes to the women that he deal with. I mean, he can call them out their name. He could disrespect them in front of us. He could shoot his shot at other women around him. I've seen some guys who just got it like that to the point where the girl will literally just put herself in this mental space where she just justifies everything that he does. Somebody said, if the girl like you enough, you ain't never got a lot of her. She a lot of herself. And I've seen that with my own two eyes. As a matter of fact, this ain't been with every woman I dealt with, but it's been women in the past that I used to deal with and stuff like that. And I was that guy to them, right? And then I'm going to show you this one right here. The same thing go for us men too, bro. Like, real talk, you'll be dealing with a woman who will do everything that you would have basically cut another woman off for. And you'll put up with it because maybe she's that pretty to you. Maybe the box, that fire. It happens to both genders. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. Like, every dude got his feelings hurt by a big button to smile before. You know those songs they say you can't trust a big button to smile? That be the girl you let get away with murder, man. Real talk, you ain't still, you ain't, you ain't stand on business to her, but let her be like a seven or a six to you. you uh, I don't know if I'm gonna put up with that coming from you. <laughs> I'm telling y'all some real shit, but back to the women. I've seen women date this guy on this side, and he is a single man with no kids. He he got a good job. He's respectful, and I've seen them treat him like shit. On the other hand, I've seen women mess with married men who have multiple baby um, mamas, felonies, you name it, and let him get away with murder. It's an imbalance, man, and that's all we be talking about, bro. Let's talk about red pill rates. Let's, let's talk about it. Look, I understand where it comes from. You thought for the longest time that if you treated women nicely, they would love you unconditionally. Mm -hmm. You thought if you gave them everything they ever wanted, it would be yours forever. And you may have even thought that your own masculinity was toxic for a second there. But now you've learned the truth. What truth? Nice guys really do finish last. Facts. Women are very conditional with how they love you. Your masculinity is not toxic. And that the worst of femininity can be just as toxic as the worst of masculinity. Now you're angry. You've been lied to. You feel betrayed. And I get it. Betrayal is tough to get past. But guess what? You shouldn't be angry. You should be happy. Because now you know the truth. Now you know what women actually want. Now you know how to be a man worthy of female desire. And now you know how to protect yourself from the true dangers that exist in relationships between men and women. So drop the anger. Would you drop it? You dropped it forgive yourself for the mistakes you've made and stop attacking the other side the same way that they attacked you remember a hero and a villain have the same painful backstory but sounds right but one uses it for good and the other uses it for evil so continue to speak up to make sure young men and women do not suffer the same way you did and not because you have disdain for your opponents no she had definitely good intentions but i'm gonna say this man the truth hurts once your eyes are open, bro, it can make you mad for the simple fact you were sold a dream your whole life, bro. It be the people closest to you who push for certain things. Like, man, some of y'all got married because family members was like, yo, when you gonna make an honest woman out of her? 
And then that same woman turned around and stabbed you in the back. So then you're going through that divorce. You're going through the pains, the motions, and you come across the red pill content. And they start to tell you about hypergamy. They start to tell you about female nature. That shit will literally piss you off because you'll be thinking back to the time your mama told you women are made of sugar and spice and everything nice. Your daddy told you you're not supposed to hit women. You're supposed to be chivalrous to them, open up doors and shit like that. And you mad at them for telling you like that you mad at a man who already on his second third marriage for encouraging you to go down the same path that he went down that led him to destruction you'll be really mad at that shit so you know you got to give people like that a little time brother hill and come back to reality but man to say just let it go i don't know if a man could think about that also she didn't take in consideration that right now with the nature of social media, these women have these convoluted expectations and they're unrealistic for the average man. So now the average man is looking at that and saying, well, shit, I don't stand a chance out here. So you know what? I'm going to just do me. I'm going to go my own way. Or some guys who actually do get women, they're going to say, I'm never going to wife none of these women because they all the same. So you're really dealing with a lot. It's the girl that doesn't text you at all you need to worry about. Attention is currency when it comes to a woman. If I am getting messages that are paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs long from a girl that's mad at me. Delete it. I know that she loves me. You should listen to what women say. Not doing that. And take it into consideration. But in this particular lane of conversation, do not listen to what women say. Listen to what they mm -hmm. do. Listen to me. And if those paragraphs are coming, the longer they are and the more impactful they are and like she was just typing away, <laughs> dude, she fucking loves you, bro. Don't forget that. Awesome. Don't lose your frame. Hey, real talk. If you one of them Playboy dudes, man, I'm going to keep it real with you. you. You good whenever your girl is complaining. She's sending you them long text messages. She just begging for your time and your attention. I wish you'll show me more love. I wish you'll be more romantic. This, that, and the third. Blase, blase, right? And you like, man, I got her wrapped around my finger. Now, when all of that stops, that's when you got issues. Once she becomes numb to it, once she goes quiet, you're done. She's checked out. She's probably already got her work husband. She's about to be with him. <laughs> she's ready to leave you. She's been putting money to the side. She got her deposit money ready for the next apartment that she's about to move in. Her credits go up. She's been hitting the gym. She done lost weight. She's getting attention from men now. So her confidence is going up. And she really looking at you like a flunk. And not like, what did I ever see in you type shit, bro? Y'all niggas let it get to that point. Boy, it's a wrap for you. I'm keeping it real. But like he said, if that girl sending them paragraphs, dog, she really, she still wants you, bro. She still got it for you. You said that our body counts are growing because of opportunities. That's exactly what I said. I said that. You think we're doing it because we want to be pleased sexually. Or got that right. No, it's not because you want to be pleased sexually. It doesn't make you happy. Like when you when you go and you have to do the walk of shame in the morning, you're holding your boots, walking back, <laughs> and you're still wearing that whore outfit from the night before. You don't feel good about yourself. You'd rather be with a guy who's making you feel secure, who's making you feel happy. But you've been encouraged by the stuff like She-Hulk and Megan Thee Stallion to twerk in the club and do all this nonsense every day. And you think that is making you empowered and you think you're a boss bitch babe. When really that's not what you want you don't you want to be with a good man you want to have a good happy relationship but you're here in the club every night searching for something that's empty you're chasing dopamine instead of real love facts hey you know what you have to be a special kind of 304 for you to really love that uh getting smashed and sent back to the streets lifestyle like something really got to be wrong with you mentally that probably is a chemical imbalance and probably some suppressed childhood traumatic experience tucked off way deep in your subconscious mind that you don't even remember something foul happened to you that your body you know we have defense mechanisms like if something traumatic happens to a child man your mind will basically put up a fortress around that that memory so that you can't easily access it unless something traumatic happens to you again. So a lot of times, a lot of the promiscuity that a woman um, experience comes from something that went wrong when they was a child, man. I'm telling you, like you can study the, the, psych, the psychological literature. A lot of promiscuous people were mishandled as kids. So they're numb to that kind of shit. So they act out in a sexual manner they looking for love and all of these dudes and stuff like that and they don't even know it they think they just having a whole phase nah you've messed up in the head something's wrong with you you need to go get therapy because sleeping with a new guy every single day is not normal sleeping with a new guy every single month is not normal for the average healthy minded woman that just don't make no sense and that walk of shame 
that y'all got to do because that dude don't give a damn about you, you know he don't like that. You know that kills your self-esteem, man. So for them to get up there and lie about all that, man, listen, it's disingenuous. Can I ask you one more question? Don't ask questions. Don't ask questions. Don't ask questions. Fire away, honey. Okay. <laughs> um, if you have only one place in your heart for one woman or you want to have one woman in your heart, I think you said, why don't you just commit to one and choose to be faithful to her? Bros before hoes. I'm just not wired that way. I spent my whole 20s trying to fix myself. I thought you're, something was you're wrong. You have self-control. You you work out. You do business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can possess your own your own power it's and you not, direct it's just, it the way you want to direct it. It's just not how I am. It's not how I am. I was different. Do you think that might be a limited mindset? I think it's none of your business, but I don't want you to think I'm triggered by you. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I saw somebody say that, and I think that's interesting. I think you're annoying, but I'm not triggered. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? No, you are. You're annoying. It's annoying. I'm annoyed. In, in like this goody two shoes type way, and that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna live my life on my terms, unapologetically, like truly. So uh, you can ask me this 85 different ways. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I'm gonna walk out of here the same man. Now, I truly believe that most women, I'm talking about 99.9% .9 of the women, I'm talking about even your Mia Khalifas, I'm talking about your famous women, your high profile CEO women, I'm talking about from top to bottom, from each end of the spectrum. I believe that most of them truly want to be settled down with a man that loves and respects them. But they didn't did so much craziness in their life, they didn't wasted their youth, they didn't been ran through, all kind of stuff, whatever reason why that they keep self-sabotaging these relationships. I don't know why, but I do truly believe there are a lot of men, probably I would say 15 to 20% of the male population are perfectly fine with just running through these women for the rest of their life. And I'm talking about, they are legitimately content with that. They're willing to die alone, whatever. Because I feel like a lot of men are literally just wired to just spread their seed around, man. I'm not going to hold you. I truly believe that. I know some guys right now. Now, I'll never be 100% able to pinpoint and show you without a shadow of a doubt that they feel like that. Because we don't know what's going on inside their mind. But you think about guys like Leonardo DiCaprio. Man, we ain't never seen this man get married. Not that I know. I don't check for him like that. But I think I would have heard about it had he gotten married before. All he do is run through these supermodels and he exchange them for a younger model every three to four years. That's what he's been doing ever since I heard about him. You dig? I, I, I know a lot of guys like that. But women... I think y'all be wanting to settle down straight up. What do you think is worse? When a man cheats or if a woman cheats? Women, women, women. I feel equal. I feel like it's a betrayal. Either way, it's in between. I feel like it's both. Look at me. <laughs> Eye contact. <laughs> Men can truly have sex with someone that they hate. Mm -hmm. You ladies aren't doing that. You love it. Think about the point that you have to get to, ladies, to allow a n to slide in between your soul gaps and smack it and flip it around. You have to get to some emotional point. So that's a difference. There's a vast difference of a woman having sex and a vast difference versus a man having sex. That's what we're talking about. So since there's a difference, when a woman cheats, it's worse because we know that she has to like the guy that she's stepping out of the relationship with to a certain degree. Now, when a man, we know that he doesn't have to like that girl at all. He could actually hate that woman. Psychopaths. But he'll still get his rocks off. That's what I'm saying. So it's just not the same. Nah, it's definitely worse, in my opinion, when a, a woman gives that box away to another man because he had to conquer you straight up. He had to make you say, you know what? This relationship that I got at home, this hardworking man that I have at home who takes care of my kids, who pays for everything that I do and this little job that I got, it's just a little money for me to go get Starbucks with. I don't need this job. I just have this job like... A man who can convince you to get down on your knees and eat them up, knowing that you got all that at home to lose, he conquered you. Now, a man who doing all of the work, he's that man. He's paying the bills, taking care of the kids. They all in private school. Y'all travel three, four times a month. You know, he uh, buys you gifts. He randomly brings you flowers and stuff like that. He might have a momentary lapse of judgment. The hot secretary girl come in there and she seduces him and, you know, he get rock hard and he blow her back out. But it was no emotions involved. She just did what a woman do and he does what a man did. He didn't like her like that. One and done. Never thought about her again. Fired the bra right after. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's worse because he didn't plot. That fell in his lap and he, he, he fell for it. Both cases is wrong, but... 
We know the dynamics of when women cheat, man. This dude been plotting. Y'all been sneaking around. Y'all been calculating how y'all gonna get away with this so that the husband don't find out. A dude will literally just smash the girl in the office, wash his dick off, and go home and still love his wife the way that he been loving her. But as soon as y'all let a dude crack, man, y'all be wanting to be with that man, bro. And then y'all start to change and we start to feel the change. I'm telling you, bro, it's worse when women do it. Two wrongs don't make a right. I'm not saying that, but y'all get what I'm going. If you're dating a girl and she says any of these five things, let her go. Nope. Number one, I only hang out with guys because girls are too much drama. If she says this, she's a girl who loves drama and attention because a healthy woman has a close circle of girlies that she likes to hang out with. If she hangs out with boys all the time, she loves the fact that most of them would smash given the chance. Number two, that guy is so hot. Go with him. Go. If she mentions how attractive other guys are in front of you, that is a woman who has no care or regard for your feelings at all and is most likely fishing for compliments mm. or fishing for some type of issue to happen. Number three is, I'm an expensive woman. Are you sure you can afford me? If a woman says this, this is very low class. In fact, I'd encourage spending money on your girl. However, a woman who has to voice this is simply just trash. Number four, if she says, stop being so controlling or insecure. A healthy woman will actually hear you out when you're unhappy with something. This is a trashy girl who thinks she can do anything just because of this line. Pose. And if she thinks she can do whatever she wants without any consequences, forget all of that. If I should make a part two, let me know down below in the comments and let me know if these are valid. You know what, bro? All y'all young dudes need a dude like me in your circle, bro. Because I just stopped so many of my younger co-workers, man. When I was working at the restaurant, man dudes will come to me and this is long before i even had a youtube channel bro i'm talking about before the pandemic i created this channel and uh you know i was bored after the COVID or after the breakout or whatever and i needed something to do so i started making music reactions but long before i was doing music reactions younger co-workers because i was still 30 something at the time younger co-workers in the early 20s was coming to me for relationship advice Man, you think my girl cheating on me? You think my girl playing with me, bro? Yes, I do think that. And most of the time, they was showing red flags that she just went over. Like telling him that he controlling because he don't want her going outside with see-through clothes on. Getting drunk around strange men. All red flags, bro. Some of them listened, some of them didn't. That's all I'm going to say. These lists is valid. Why are we only getting asked for our body count? What's the issue? I can't speak for John. Me personally, I think body count matters. It was bitch. So I'm not gonna share my body count because I think it matters. But John, I don't know if you wanna share yours. Why do you put me on the spot? If he shares it, will y'all share it? Hell no. No. One for one? How about you, since you two have been flirting with each other all night, I'm thinking, uh, <laughs> I'm thinking if he says it, you say it. How Hell no. about that? Gentleman's agreement? Fine. Oh, okay, there we go. John, go ahead. Ladies first. 11. Yeah. Okay. All 11, really? <laughs> Do you think I'm ran yes. through? Yes, yes. Most likely. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, yeah. Sounds good. Yes. Nice. Mine's like. Damn. 250. Yeah, man, it's always funny to hear women say you shouldn't shame us about our body counts and that body counts don't matter. You should not be concerned with them because I'm with you now. What does my past have to do with our present and future? It has a lot to do with it. And y'all subconsciously know that because if a nigga say, Shh, tell me your body count, y'all like, no, nah, I don't want to. Or y'all make up some small number that y'all think we can wrap our heads around. Because y'all know it matters. And y'all know why it matters. It's kind of disingenuous, man. It's definitely, definitely kind of messed up. Straight up. I'm talking about you've been with 11 dudes. Man, you know you got to multiply that by three. She threw 11 out so confidently. Like, that's still not a lot of bodies. It might not be a lot of bodies if you compare it to what women are actually doing out here. But what I'm saying is that was a number in her mind that she don't think is bad. The actual number she knows is bad, so she didn't tell us that. I promise you, bro. Ain't no woman finna sit up there and tell you that she actually slept with 11 whole niggas. If she slept with 11 dudes, she would have told us a number like three or four. Real talk. This was what truly high-value men do. They pick wisely. 
They pick super, super wisely. They're highly selective with the women that they choose. Be cautious. And then when they've chosen her correctly, they spoil her endlessly. They put her through the ringers. It's like, you know, when you go to six, seven rounds of an interview to get into those corporate jobs, they make you go through interview after interview after interview, a bit like going to a Harvard application. When you get to Harvard, they treat you well. With delight. Your life is set. But up until that point, they put you through it. What Fresh and Frit teach is take any kind of woman and then don't give her too much, play games, treat her harshly. That's not what high value men do. They've got a reputation. They can't just take any old girl and then try and tra train her. It wasn't more like that. They ain't got time for that. They take a woman who's been well trained by her family. That's amazing. I've never seen it from that perspective. Me either.